All right, so hello everyone. Uh, unfortunately, in that first video on how to be homeless in style, uh, unfortunately, the video actually cut itself out. <laughs> uh, I didn't even press the stop button. I guess it's just, I'm gonna chop that up to man-made technology. But after the video had cut itself off, I, I realized it right away. So I went ahead and I reassembled my car uh, back to the way it was. But there were some things that I wanted to talk about before I actually cut that video off. So I'll just uh, talk about it now and then I'll just call this one How to Be Homeless in Style Part 2 and then the other one How to Be Homeless in Style Part 1. Um, and I guess I'll be putting these into my consumer videos uh, folder on my channel. But uh, I just wanted to cover a few things. So I mentioned that I shower at the gym I need to work out every day, I need to stay in shape, um, so I go to the gym anyway. So the first thing I do when I get up is either A, I go get some breakfast, or depending on how late I ate the night before, I might just go straight to the gym because, you know, if I ended up eating kind of late because I was too busy, then I still have a lot of that energy in my system and so I really don't need to eat right away. And so sometimes I'll go to the gym or sometimes I'll go get breakfast and then I'll go to the gym after. But you know, one way or the other, I mean, I'm gonna be showering at the gym. Uh, and really, I shower about two or three times a day. And if you go to massagebf.com, because this video is going to YouTube, but if you check out my website, you should quickly realize some of the stuff that I do for a living. I started my own business because I'm not going to be a modern day slave anymore. I did that for many years and then I finally, one day I just woke up and I said, you know what, something is seriously wrong here and we need to make some changes to the way that this country does things. This economy does not have to be in the shithole. Okay, businesses are doing background checks and all that background checks do is they provide chaos. They do not provide security. What they do is that through a process called ripple effects, and I've discussed this in the past, background checks actually create chaos. So they actually provide the exact opposite of what a lot of people actually believe that they do. Because when you deny somebody a job, that person still has to feed themselves. So, you know, it's, it's interesting how a lot of people think these days because of how full of shit they are. But, you know, before I go way, way out there into the deep end and lose track, I'm going to stay focused here because I have I have another video on my YouTube channel that says no background checks, and I kind of discussed that in that video. So if you want to hear more about my take on background checks, you can just go uh, to my YouTube channel, find the video that says uh, no background checks, and that one would fall under the Massage BF uh, file on my YouTube channel. Um... But yeah, so I shower at the gym, sometimes I shower at my client's house, depending on the nature of the session, okay? Uh, so really, I shower a lot, and personal hygiene is extremely important to me. Right now, I have some scruff coming in, but I'm going to shave tomorrow. I decided to not shave today. But I have a gym bag, and I have my electric razors, and I have all of my, you know, I have a nice-sized duffel bag, and so I can keep everything including my change of clothes and you know I can bring a towel in there in my bag I mean it's really nice I've got all of that stuff set up but of course it costs money so you do have to spend money but let's face it you're gonna be buying that stuff anyway even if you had an apartment and even if you were allowing you know certain individuals to bend you over and fucking ass rape you without lubricant now one of the things that I thought was interesting recently I bought a Smith & Wesson SD 9 millimeter uh, VE, which stands for Value Enhanced, okay? So I've got a pretty good firearm. Um, I had to do a background check to get that. So, you know, sometimes I make exceptions, but one thing that I thought was interesting is that I can't get a job in the private sector making a living wage, but I can pass a government background check and get a firearm. So what does that tell you? <laughs> You know, and when I say private sector, I mean private corporations, McDonald's, uh, Target, you know, uh, corporate jobs that are supposed to pay more. You know, I'm talking about any type of uh, entity that's not the government, that would be the private sector. 
So if somebody else has a different definition, they're fucking stupid and you just just use your common sense. You know, it's just like I've said before, phone should be spelled F-O-N-E, not P-H-O-N-E. Okay, the, uh, America just likes to complicate shit unnecessarily when there's no need for it. Mexico got that word right. Phone is supposed to be spelled F-O-N-E. From, from a humble individual standpoint, that is how you spell phone. I don't care who you are, Mexico got that one right. Okay, photosynthesis, it should have been an F, not a PH. All right, but I'm just saying, there's no reason why things need to be complicated other than keeping everybody at the, you know, as low as they possibly can. I mean, what other reason could you possibly, you know, actually come up with to justify making things overly complicated when they don't need to be complicated? Okay? People say that I'm very direct with people, but I mean, what option do I have? I'm a human. Go figure, right? When my actions affect the people around me, of course I'm going to be direct. I don't have any other choice. And there's a lot of people out there who seem to have convinced themselves otherwise. Well, you're just a fucking stupid head. That's all it is. I mean, you're just dumb. <laughs> Plain and simple. You're lacking humility, among other things. And so you think that you have a choice in the matter and you don't. Uh, but I say that lovingly. I'm not saying that to persecute anybody. I'm not trying to step on anybody's feet. I'm just being honest. So if I'm right, then I'm right. And you can't really be mad at me now, can you? If I'm wrong, that's a totally different story. But if what I'm saying is actually true, and if it makes sense, then you can't really be mad at me for speaking the truth now, can you? I mean, unless you want to be a punk. You know, that's, that's entirely up to you. So we got the showers covered. I feel morally obligated to share with people my knowledge because uh, if you know that something's wrong and if you continue to actually feed whatever that is, then you have nobody but yourself to blame for why the world is the way it is. So I've covered showers because personal hygiene is extremely important. Washing the car. You may have noticed that I have some trash down here to my right on the passenger seat on the floor. Once a day, you know, I keep quarters in my car. Once a day, not once, ooh, not once a day. Once a week, I go to those self-serve car wash places, and it costs me about a dollar to vacuum out my car. It costs me about four dollars to wash the outside of the car and to wash the mats as well. So this car actually came with original Infinity mats, which were carpeted. They actually match the carpet that's underneath. Uh, but you can't spill food on there with, you know, like it's going to be a pain in the ass to try and clean up that food. And so I went ahead and I went to Walmart and I bought these black rubber mats because cleanup is a lot more easier. It's less of a pain in the ass. You don't want to take carpeted mats and hang them up in those self-serve car wash stalls and then spray them down with a power washer. You don't want to do that for obvious reasons. And so... I took out those mats and of course I maintain a place where I where I have storage uh, I have a storage unit basically uh, that I can keep a lot of my other stuff um, and so I don't actually keep all of my property in my car I only keep what I need to be mobile okay I have a note 5 and I have Verizon wireless I also know where a lot of the really good public hotspot locations are some of them I can access from my car so my Verizon data is extremely expensive, but I'm not always using my data. <laughs> Sometimes I'm using somebody else's data that's not so expensive. Uh, and so, you know, that, that really helps when watching Netflix in my car. And so when I actually do go and make camp at night, at midnight, usually I'll stay up till about 1 or 1.30 in the morning before I finally doze off. But, you know, that's really, you know, that's when I'm using my own mobile data. You know, if I'm watching Netflix or if I'm watching, you know, YouTube videos. And because I'm kind of a geek, I know that if I watch an animated program, it's actually going to use about a quarter of the data less than if I use an actual real life, if I watch an actual real life uh, video on Netflix. You know, such as S.H.I.E.L.D. or, you know, just anything that that's not animated. Animated shows uh, require less data to, to transmit. 
uh, for a number of different reasons. And so because I'm a geek, I kind of know that. And I do kind of watch a lot of stupid shows like Family Guy and American Dad and stuff like that. So, you know, like when I'm getting ready to go to bed, I just want to laugh a few times, see something stupid, and then I'm good to go, man. I'm going to crash out and, you know, wake up in the morning, start all over again. But, um, but yeah, so I'm going to cut this video short, but I just wanted to show you. And then, of course, gas stations. I drive a lot. My estimated daily mileage is about 75 to 100 miles a day. So I'm sure you can imagine I spend quite a bit of money on gas. Um, in my budget, I budget approximately uh, six to $800 a month in fuel uh, because I drive that much, okay? Um, and when I'm in idle, of course, you know, it takes hours before I actually start to see my little gas meter start to move a little bit. It takes like a couple hours before I actually start. So a lot of you know idling, but during the day I'll take my gaming laptop, I'll go into King Supers, I'll sit down inside of um, Starbucks's area because they have the King Supers Wi-Fi and it's actually pretty nice. I get to just sit there, get on my computer if I want something to eat. I've got an entire grocery store right in front of me. You know, so I can take my wallet and free range i mean i have literally a king supers grocery stores right there in front of me so if i ever want something to eat other than what i have in the car it's right there and then some of you might be thinking well where do i get my mail well first of all a lot of stuff is done electronically but as you notice i have a car and so in case i'm speeding or if i get flashed with one of those mobile cameras or one of the intersection cameras or let's say I get a parking ticket and some fucking asshole decides to give me a bad day by coming around and taking that ticket off my windshield. Okay, and actually just for, you know, just just for the sake, for whatever reason, he could be mad at the world or maybe it's some chick who uh, blames men for being sexist. And so uh, even though most men are not sexist, she decides to be a sexist by targeting my car just because she saw me getting out of it <laughs> which actually happens uh then you know i have i i have i maintain a mailbox at the ups store and i buy three months at a time and it costs me like 22 dollars a month or whatever a lot more expensive than getting a peel box at the post office but if i buy stuff online there's certain merchants they won't ship out to peel boxes They'll only ship out to an actual address. And so that's one of the benefits I get of renting a mailbox at a UPS store is because I get an actual address, uh, which is actually on my website. If you go to, uh, you know, massagebf.com, click on contact me, uh, that's a UPS store, in case you didn't know that. That's why it says STE967 because that's actually my box number. <laughs> So when I get mail or packages at that location, the people who work there, they sign for my packages. They don't do that at the at the mail at the post office either, but they'll they're basically my little personal assistants. I can call them during business hours and I could say, "Hey, let me get a mailbox check 967." And then they'll tell me not only if I have mail, but they'll tell me uh, who the mail is from. So I literally have like, you know, these little personal assistants you know, they've got a shredder in there. I mean, it's 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 pretty nice. So it's a nice little, you know, setup at the UPS store. But that's pretty much it. So uh, massagebf.com. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go through these videos, get them uploaded to YouTube. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.